Greetings, Mike Johnson from Gold Tone. We're at the uh, Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim, California, at the at the NAMM show, and I uh, have the opportunity to show you some things that we've uh, that that make our company very special. We uh, specialize in some very unique instruments that give. Uh, guitar players, bass players, and other instruments, a, a different voicing without having to learn a new instrument. This particular one is a bass, although we probably designed this as much for the guitar player as we did for the bass player. It's a shorter scale, it's a 23 and a half inch scale, which is roughly the same as the Taylor Baby. So for a guitar player that wants to play some bass on his acoustic gig, it's perfect. It doesn't blow his fingers out like a 34 inch scale would. For bass players, it represents the sound of an upright bass. So it fits in the overhead bin, it travels nicely, and uh, on a small stage, obviously, it, it, it makes perfect sense. For a guy that plays uh, uh, an electric bass, this doesn't compete with that sound at all. It gives him that other sound, that contrabass sound, that uh, on acoustic gigs and other places is just more appropriate. The pricing on it is extremely affordable, so this this is an absolute monster piece. Everybody, pick, It's sort of like Cheetos. Once you start playing this little short-scale bass, you kind of sort of feel like uh, Jaco Pastorius. That's the M bass. In the same vein, we, uh, we do alternative voicings. We call them alternative instruments for guitar players. This one is actually a mando guitar, um, which was originally done in the 1930s by Gibson. It was a mandolin with a six string neck on it. Pretty difficult play, really, to be honest. And, but we like the concept of being able to sound like a mandolin, but play like a guitar. So through some engineering feats, we, we actually made the scale length about two and a half inches longer than a mandolin. We increased the body size a little bit for acoustic purposes, so it's really more like a small mandola. And then thirdly, we put this swing tailpiece on it, which you'll see on a lot of electric guitars. But what that did was it softened the feel of the string. So, so I can actually bend a string, which you could never do that on, on a mandolin. But uh, the bottom line is I get that mandolin sound with the same skills that I've honed for all of my life. So. Mando guitar. It has a pickup built into it, and again, very, very affordable price. What we find is that when we introduce this to guys that play in a, sol in a, in a duet or a trio, if we can take one of those guys off the acoustic guitar that's playing a redundant part to his, his counterpart, put one of them on the, the acoustic bass and one on this, then all of a sudden we've taken that orchestral range and just expanded tremendously. It's almost like going from black and white to color.